In this video, we will build a specific cable using and creating customized patterns with Automation Studio. We will build a cable, assign wires to it, create a cable drawing, and navigate to the wires and the cable diagram using the hyperlink format. Select New Project from the Home tab, choose the ElectroNEMA ANSI B template, and click OK. On the View tab, check the Grid option to easily insert and connect components on the diagram. Back on the Home tab, select Polyphase Wire Configuration. Choose Custom option. Select L1, L2, L3, and N in the Custom Combo boxes and click Apply. Click on the Polyphase Wire icon from the Home tab and draw a polyphase wire. From the Electrotechnical tab, select Wire and Cable Spool Builder. Select the Materials tab and click on Copper and Apply. Select the Conductor Gauges tab and click on AWG12 and Apply. To create a new wire color, select the Wire Colors tab and click on the Add New icon. Select the component 1 and set the striped pattern and yellow color. Click on the Add New Colors Pattern icon from the Configuration dialog box. Select the component 2 and set Solid Pattern and Green Color. Click Apply. Select the Cable Spools tab and click on the Add New Cable Spool icon to create a new spool cable. Select the Spool Builder tab and edit the following values in the Technical Characteristics section. Bend Radius, 5.45 inches. Cover Color, OG, orange. Insulation Material, PVC Polyvinyl Chloride. Outside Diameter, 0.545 inches. Spool Length, 1,000 feet. In the Operating Condition section, Maximum Voltage Value to 600 volts. And change the Component Name Value to 7145A Belden Spool in the Identification section and click Apply. Select the Conductor Number 1 and set the following values in the Technical Characteristics section. Conductor Gauge AWG12, Core Material Copper, Core Type, Stranded Conductor, Cover Color, RD for Red, Insulation Material, PVC, Wire Use, Wire. Select the Conductor Builder tab and click on Add New Conductor icon to create a new conductor with the same specifications. You can also copy the conductor directly. Right-click on the desired conductor and select Copy the Selection, and then right-click again and choose Paste the Selection. Add a new conductor with the same specifications, but in the Cover Color field, set the color we have already created. Yes, GN. Now we have created the four conductors with their specifications. Click Apply. To group the connectors, select the Cable Builder tab and click on the Add New Group icon to create a new group. Select Group 0, click on Name Position 1, and Shift-click on Position 4 to select all four conductors. Change the type, then click on the Group icon. Here the cable is unshielded, so we don't need to group them. Click Apply and Close. From the Electrotechnical tab, select the Cable Builder icon. Click on the Add New Cable icon to create a new cable. In the Technical Characteristics section, Edit the cable length value to 1,000 feet. Set the spool list to 7145A Belden Spool. In the Identification section, change the component name to 7145A Belden. The item identifier to 7145A Belden Cable. Click on Apply. Now the 7145A Belden cable has been built. 
Double click on the first wire to open the Component Properties dialog box. Select the associated wire spool or cable branch and choose the cable option and set the cable to 7145A Belden cable. Select the conductor number 1, then click on Apply. Repeat the wire assignment to the cable for the other three wires. Select the Data Branch and edit the item identifier of each wire and close. Now, all the cable wires are properly identified on the diagram. Open the Library Explorer icon from the Home tab, or by hitting F9, and look for the Electrotechnical NEMA workshop. Find a cable picture component and insert it on the diagram. Select the associated cable branch from Component Properties and set the cable parameter to 7145A Belden Cable. Apply and close. The cable picture has been created in the diagram. The conductor numbers and the wires associated to the cable are represented as hyperlinks. Press on the control key and click on the hyperlink. The wire corresponding to this cable position is highlighted in red and the focus changes to center this wire on the workspace. We have just built a cable with customized patterns in Automation Studio.